What's going on, Blurge, Nerds, and everybody in between? It's your boy, Wyatt, the sensei of the syndicate. And we also are going to be talking about a lot of different things. So before I get started, we got to introduce the folks that are here. Back for season two, sir, founder of the 2020 podcast, LLC. Please say the LLC. Please. And one third of the things people don't say podcast, the bearded panda himself. Hey, Marcus, hey. how you doing, bro? I'm good, man. How y'all boys doing? I'm great, man. I'm glad to be back, goddamn. <laughs> man, it, it, it was like a, it's it been a feeling like I've been wanting to explode with all the nerdum and the, the blurdom that we've had going on. So we got some stuff to talk about. We got movies, we got Disney Plus days, we got all this stuff. And um, it, it's just been a lot. So, uh, but before then, uh, what, what else y'all got going on? Well, um, you know, 2020 is doing stuff. We got an event coming up uh, mm -hmm. with the Safe Word, which is a subsidiary of the 2020 podcast. Uh, the Safe Word is a Black Kink podcast hosted by uh, a member of the Blur Syndicate, yes, uh, Mr. Eternity Everlasting. Uh, he and uh, Miss uh, Mystique are actually hosting uh, our first HIV AIDS testing event. It's called Safe Not Sorry. It's going down in Mobile, Alabama uh, at HERS Bar. Um, it's going down from 12 to 5, I believe. We got vendors that's going to pop up. We got plenty of sponsors that's down. We're going to be doing COVID testing, HIV, AIDS testing. It's everything, man. All you got to do is show up. And uh, we're going to be recording uh, the live season finale of the Safe Word podcast. So, yeah, definitely come out. It's going to be a meet and greet. We got door prizes. We got free stuff to give people. And, and again, I reiterate that part. We got free stuff to give people. So, um, yeah, come on out. Meet us all, man. We, we about to have a great time. If you haven't checked out the Safe Word, it is is the conversations that real people have about, like, not even just sex. It's just it's just a conversation about intimacy, being being honest and open with yourself. So if you haven't checked that out, it's it's in every podcast place, place that you can really watch it. So I, I've listened to it on my phone through iPhone and everything like that. So it's in there. So check it out if you can. Yeah. Marcus. Let me check that out. Marcus, man, you yes, you got you got the baby. You done magically grew regrew locks that are longer than right. mine now. Right. Uh, I, I was a little upset. I was like, how did he get this this serum to, to go ahead and get his locks like he was supposed to? I'm, I'm jealous. What else has been going on yeah. with you? Because you, you didn't have uh, a whole transformation, bro. Yeah, man. Um, so I, I wait, I say about five years ago, I actually cut my locks off. I had them for like 10 plus years. Kind of got tired of them just going through the journey. And my son used to pull on them a lot. So I used, I used, I was getting tired of them. So I cut them. But I kept them. I decided to keep, actually keep my own, still keep them. And then grow my hair a little bit. And just was like, you know what? Everybody in my house got locked, except for the baby. But everybody in my house got locked. My wife got them. My two sons got them. I was like, I guess I go ahead and put mine back in. So I found somebody <laughs> to, to actually reattach mine. So yeah, yeah, it's it's uh, it's cool, man, having them back. And I, I'm really, really enjoying them. Uh, getting used to them at the same time again. but. I'm really enjoying it. But, uh, dad and new baby. Um, yeah, it's been, <laughs> been a couple of new things, but, but it's it's been good. Okay? Uh, I'm just enjoy have, being part of the uh, part of the uh, the whole my life journey again. You know what I'm saying, Ugh, glad to have you, bro. We're glad to have your back, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man. Yes, sir. He got the full like Booker T going. Like he was like ah, oh, like yes, <laughs> yes. So, trying to. So, so yeah. So first of all, like uh, I don't know where you guys want to start off at because I know we we've, we've talked about a lot of different things. Um, I know Shang Chi was was one thing that you really like. I really enjoyed. I saw it at the movie theaters, and I, I, my personal opinion, I sent it out in, in our group chat that I felt like it was up there with one of the best like single. MCU movies. It's not like a Marvel, like not an Avengers one, not a, you know, not a, a one where it's got Civil War, it's got multiple people in there. Like it was up there with me to like, you know, Captain America, uh, the Winter Soldier, because that was one of my, my favorites from there. So 
and, and of course black panther you know but, yeah uh of course but uh so how did you guys feel about everything man uh i'm kind of mad two reasons one that i waited so long to go see it and it wasn't that i didn't want to it was just adulting adulting got in the way and i just could not make it to the theaters like i wanted um yeah. also um i was upset that i didn't get that theater experience um i feel like those fights were great to watch at home on my you know my my tv but i just felt like hearing those punches and those kicks mm-hmm. in surround sound would have like been yeah. a lot better you know what i'm saying <laughs> it was a whole nother thing i'm with that sorry i jumped in late guys how oh, you everyone? good bro steven how you been bro man what it do my brother please forgive the um the lack of camera i'm actually um doing some facial grooming we got picture day tomorrow and uh uh-huh. And here with my shirt off, and I don't want your female fans to be too um, hammered by all of this sexiness. Man, listen, you're a married man. You can't have all that out there. That's, right. why, I, that's why I have to protect my, I have to protect it. Got to protect it. You know, gotta I got to protect the house. And proper, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. According to Newton's laws, I'm an extremely attractive man, you know. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey. In my, in, in attraction. So, awesome. got to watch it. I, I understand, bro. So, so how'd you feel about the movie? Man, um, let me tell you, I talked so much doing during that movie, and that's how you know I like a movie. When I'm talking the whole time during the movie, like I'm like, oh snap, no, he didn't. Oh, <laughs> oh, get it. Like it was, it was an amazing movie. I truly enjoyed it. Um, like I was saying in the in the, in the chat um, earlier, I, 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 it kind of made me, even though it was a standalone, it was little things that I was noticing in the background that made me want to go watch, rewatch some of the other um, Marvel movies. One in particular was this poster in a scene that was like a support group for people yes. affected by the blip. I yeah. was like, yeah. wait, <laughs> wait a minute. It was on the wall. Yeah, yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. Cool. I gotta go back and rewatch it now. Cause like, they had, it's like, a, you know, you know that that's a part of it, but it's just like, I like the fact, you know, I like little things like that, keeping the continuity of the of the universe in general, even though it was extremely standalone. Um, it made me just, you know, it was it was a very enjoyable movie. Like I, it was funny, great action in it. Um, you know, it was it was great. I loved it. Ooh, Marcus, and, how'd you how'd you feel? Well, what were you saying, Jim? Uh, I was I was just going to touch on the Easter eggs that 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 we caught like mid uh, movie. Just like, wait a minute, what was that? Like it was a bunch of those moments in the movies. Um, when when they got to the Fight Club and they're walking through the hallways, mm-hmm. you can see one of the Black Widows fighting. Mm-hmm. I was and like, oh, bruh, that's one of the girls that, that got away. Watch. And the extremist and the extremist person. So oh, they, I didn't even peep the extremist person. Oh God, you gonna yeah. make me go back? You gonna make me go back? The extremist. <laughs> yep. So because they they're all lit up and you're like, oh, and then I was like, oh. And so then, you know, I had to break it down to Ben again. He was like, but that's, and and uh, Steven, to your point, Ben does the same thing that you do. Um, we went to go see My Hero Academia today. And like, thank, thank God it was just like five people in there. But Ben was like, oh my God, what about this dad and Deku? So, so yeah. <laughs> Not to compare you to a nine-year-old, but I mean, don't you don't you stop? Oh, so, hold on, wait. Did you say I'm a nine-year-old? That's no, 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 no. Oh. He he just does this. He doesn't. He has no. Yeah, no offense, but yeah, you, you're not. Yeah, no, no, it's all good. It's all good. Like I, I consider being a great guy, so you know, greatness, mm-hmm. greatness. That's what it'd be like. It's just fun because like sometimes just the, it's dialogue. You know, I'm talking with the movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We're a part of this together. It's an experience that we're having. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so, so um, I I really there was so much because then after that, like usually when when you have like a, a Marvel movie, you only get kind of one level of it. You know what I mean? Like if you get a whole lot of martial arts, you're not gonna get a whole lot of mysticism. You're not gonna get like so. So then it went from it like it touched on everything so then you could always like no matter what kind of action or, or adventure you'd like to see like you got that with that movie and that was one thing that i was i was really really excited about and um 
yeah, it was really cool to see. It was. I, um, I, I really enjoyed it. I took my um, my middle son, Braxton, to go see it. Me and my wife, uh, my older son had some, went, went to his friend's house, and we had a babysitter for the baby. I was like, I'm gonna take Brax, I wanna take Braxton to see this. So, like, he's gonna enjoy this. And I showed my wife the trailer, and my wife, she's not big on the actual, um, like, you know, the comments and all that stuff, but she likes some of like, the action in the movie, you know, so she, she's, she knows about the Marvel um, MCU. And I showed her the trailer, she's like, ooh, I want to go see it. And we left, when we left the theater, and she was like, I really liked that. I really enjoyed that. And, like, and when she found out I was on Disney Plus this week, she was like, we got to watch it this weekend. We haven't had the chance to, but uh, Shang-Chi was really, really good. Like, it was a standalone story for what it was, the fact that they brought, brought in some more mysticism in the MCU. Um, I, I, love, I love what the MCU is doing from that to to how we're getting with uh what we're getting with uh what what we had with Eternals and I'm, I'm pretty sure we're getting that but it's just what they're, where they're going they're bringing like they're, they're giving you so much more than just like, here on Earth I like, was starting to get into like the doc, stuff about the strain of mis- mysticism and all the other stuff so but Shang Chi you got the action and then you got like you got the mysticism all that was w- so well done in that movie I really enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. Man, I I did I agree everything what you were saying, man, because it, it just had everything. And you got a mix of it, and then it wasn't just one person doing it as well, because um, like his sister got down, you know what I mean, yeah. and, and and then you had a great story that went along with it as well. So the double the double post credits thing mm-hmm. was <laughs> was beautiful. That was beautiful. I love. I mean, I know they always do something after credits, but yeah. they had. Two- and I was like, well, I'm so glad I sat here. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. What's the what's the rule on spoilers? Well, never mind. I, I mean, it's, it's been cheap. yeah, it's been I'm, it's been a minute. So you, you gonna feel like it's it. free game, bro? Oh, <laughs> at this point in time, I, I, I would say it's free game. <laughs> when they said that, um, you know, she was going to this man of the organization, I was like. That doesn't even sound like something she would do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, eh, nah, that don't even sound like something she would do. And like that's what I was waiting on. Um, just I just just for kicks. I'm like, all right, hold on, let's keep watching because they haven't said anything. They haven't given the the update on what she's got going on, you know. So they, they gotta show us something about her and boom, lo and behold, there it is. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Loving it. Loving it. It just it's it's a great really good story i'm like man they 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 doing some great things i like the fact that in the same movie where i hated the villain i also felt for him at the end uh <laughs> me and my girl watched this together Agreed. i don't know who wrote the mandarin in this one but bro they need to keep him for the second one because bro absolutely First off, why you know how I feel about Dynasty Warriors? Mm-hmm. The first scene when he was in China and he was like, "Yo, what's up?" and he pulled out the rings. I'm like, "Niggas finna get beat up." I know this look. <laughs> <but anyway. laughs> so to see him go and go ham and be like, "Yeah, this dude's a dick." Yeah, he just a jerk. And then to slowly but surely see the humanity. Yes, he's just yeah, a man yeah. who was grieving about his wife, bro. Yeah, and all he knew how to do was to fight. That was it. <laughs> That's all. That's he it, gave y'all. out the hands, though. So he gave Bruh. out the hands. Yeah, he, he had that black Air Force energy all day. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bro, did you not see his outfit? His outfit was an Oriental black Air Force, bro. Hey, <laughs> he was ready for it. He was bringing it all day, man. When he oh, got out I, of the Jeep and Tao Low, I was like, oh, he finna fuck up everything. <laughs> 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 But um, but but in seriousness, like I went back and forth, and like for a sec, you ever catch yourself watching a movie that's so good, you start analyzing the characters, like during yep. the movie. Mm-hmm. I caught myself understanding that this entire movie was about two things: your relationship with your friends, and how people deal with grief. Because mm, yep. Mandarin had to deal with the grief of his wife. Shang Chi had to deal with the grief of losing his mom and his sister and his dad, 
His sister had to look, deal with the grief of being isolated and not being wanted by her dad. Mm-hmm. Like, and I think they touched on it, but they ain't touch on it. You know what I'm I, saying? Like I, you had to be I really like looking. They gave really, some really good attention to the whole, um, the dynamic of, you know, women being left out and, and things yeah. like that. Um, yeah. It's what you would call, consider age. Like, I think I like how they handled it, especially when they got back to the, is it Talo? Yeah. Yeah, like she's like, hey, nah, we train, we train together in here, and then they brought it back full circle at the end of the um at, at the post credits. Like I, I think they gave it really good attention, you know. How much yeah, of a you thought- get as good as she is without anybody like teaching you too? Just saying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she was in the corner just learning. Just Let me watch the this. shit out that young man. She kicked the shit out of Sean Chi when they fought. Mm-hmm. Did anybody catch that final yeah. kick? Mm-hmm. I, I did. <laughs> okay, I did. making sure. But uh, let me say this: I'm I'm watching a movie, and I'm seeing what the sister has been through and all that stuff like that. I'm just waiting on I was I'm wait, basically like I'm waiting on her like a he, I'm waiting on her like a heel turn in wrestling. Mm-hmm. I'm just waiting for her to turn heel. And sure enough, that that post credit scene, boom, there you go. I'm like I'm sitting there, I'm I'm because like I said I, I I've seen so many movies I've watched so many movies over my lifetime, and like you said I sit there and analyze people in in situations and. Build one, okay, what they what they gonna do with her? What, what they gonna do? Like I'm just sitting there thinking, like she gonna turn heel some some point. She go she go flip flop. Like my boy, like my boy John Weatherspoon said in uh, Vampire in Brooklyn. <laughs> you seen the flip flop? That's I'm just waiting on her <laughs> to flip flop. But it, it, and like I said, it was it was such a good movie. I, I love what they did with her character, like how what she was doing. You know when they when they initially went, what she was doing. To like I said, that post, that um, second post credit scene when you see what she, basically what she's doing now. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to see what they do with her in the future. Two ten rings. Mm-hmm. Hey. It it makes a situation where the rest of these Marvel shows and movies have a credible threat to deal with. Mm-hmm. So now when um, the next Captain America or Moon Knight drops. Um, Ooh you can actually have these pieces, you know what I'm saying, come together and clash, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I like the fact that although the Mandarin is gone, nigga, they like, yeah. The Ten Ring is still here. You know what I'm saying? still here. Some on the plate. And um, also with the Ten Rings, bro, I have some, some questions with you guys. Like, did y'all ever like feel like Shang Chi killed a lot of those guys? Did anybody kind of <laughs> think about that? <laughs> like he murked quite a few of those niggas. Like, did y'all mm-hmm. really pay attention to that? Like, it's throughout the movie. Were... Yeah. Of... yeah. Like that was a high body count. Like me and my girl, like when they was on the bus and they were fighting, and they he kicked that one nigga out the side of the bus in the tunnel. <laughs> I was like, oh no, he ain't <laughs> 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 even in the hospital. <laughs> no, sir, Reebok. No. When it was on the skyscraper and he was oh, kicking definitely. us off the, the scaffolding, mm-hmm. I'm like, mm-mm. Bodies on bodies on bodies on the skyscraper. Mm-hmm. Bro, he was murdering niggas. And don't get me wrong, I have no problem with that. I just like how they disguised it in the trailers. But when you, when you get to the movie, it's like, oh yeah, nah, we, we fucking niggas up in this. It, it put me in the mind. It put me in the mind frame of um, of Batman, the nineteen eighty nine one, where mm-hmm. he was like, even <laughs> though he wasn't, he they never like he killed people, you know, because yes. he literally dropped a bomb in a in a whole you know chemical plant and the whole thing blew up. Nobody came out of that one alive. Um, and, or even like the Ninja Turtles. The Ninja Turtles on the first one was really mm-hmm. really dark because they they were. They were murking people. Like, let's be real. Like he, Raphael wasn't just, you know, he wasn't taking L's by himself. Le- Leonardo one, uh, one swinging that sword at uh, at Thin L, bro. Like you, mm-hmm. some you, couple of them dudes lost, lost, they lost some limbs or long, got unalived real quick. They got unalived. the cel- <laughs> they, they got the dis- disability check. <laughs> I wonder if they had good insurance back then. Anyways, yeah, um, they fought that PG thirteen line real hard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And like the other thing that got me is when he was fighting Death Dealer in the tower, mm-hmm. and he was legit finna murder him. 
Like his dad stopped him. Like, take a moment and soak that in. Like he 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 he, he thought about it. He was like, yeah, this is my trainer, but he knows my move. Every move I got, I got the upper hand. Now's the time to take him out. Oh, no. They but, showed that without saying it, bro. No, but they did say it. They said like he is a he's a child of two worlds. So I'll his say. his dad, that's definitely his dad's part putting him up. But then he also had the peace and, and he was trying to find that serenity that his mom had. Man, that shit is wild. I love seeing that like done and mm -hmm. not like verbatim said like right mm -hmm. then and there like when you show it bro mm -hmm. the fact that his dad stopped him was like <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Come, come like on. when the villain says all right now nah, that's far enough like come on bro <laughs> like shang chi can get dark. hey 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 hey, hey. Chill out. <laughs> right yeah. cool it. cool it. So, yeah. so overall i think uh Everybody here is saying we really enjoyed the movie. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A plus. I, I want yeah, to, yeah. I want to see just a, a Ten Rings, uh, maybe a Disney Plus show. You know what I mean? Like that. That would be. That's what, what my idea would be. You know what I mean? Now my girl did say this. She said, "Wouldn't it be dope to see the Dora Milaje go heads up against the Ten Rings in some kind of conflict?" Mm, I yeah. agreed with her. I don't know who um, Dora um, That's is. a woman right there. The Dora Milaje are the, the Imperial Guards of Wakanda. I'm, I'm taking oh, it. I'm oh, taking the Dora Milaje. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be fun. <laughs> that would be fun. That'd be really fun. It was a couple of scenes that, I mean, they didn't I directly have it, but it made me think about it. The mm. color of the, um whatever the monster was in the movie. All right, guys, I'm not, I'm not hearing you. I'm not gonna have the the correct names for stuff yeah. all right oh excuse me the missus said i got too loud i gotta bring it down the babies but um that is a good point with that i, I wonder who would because you know the Dora Milaje on a whole dub another level as far as tech goes mm -hmm. and i don't know i feel like they would have the upper hand and i'm not just saying that because they black <laughs> I'm going. To. I'm saying it. I'm saying it because they black. <laughs> they, they, I'm going with the door. The door when I get like, I, I, hands down, man. Hey, them, 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 some, some badass women. They uninstalled like, Bucky's arm, cuz. Yeah. While he was fighting. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> like in the middle of a fight, like, it's like, zoop, zoop, zoop. Mm -hmm. Clean. He's sitting there looking like. He didn't know what to do. He looking appalled and, and embarrassed. And, uh, he just like, wow. And he looked confused. He, he was like, like wait a second. My privilege really didn't did stop it? this? Right. Like, yeah, so that's what they want to say. I'm, I'm sorry. I, like, I'm, I'm going with it. I, I ain't, I'm not sorry. I'm, the door Malaje <laughs> would take it. Because they black. Because <laughs> they black. And, and, and I mean, it, it ain't just because they black. But you know, that's part of it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a good 76% of it. <laughs> mm -hmm. To be fair though, the, I mean, I, I would, it's, it's like a, from what, you know, I'm not, I'm not as, as learned on comic books, but from what I understand, the whole world is afraid to go to war with Wakanda just because of the fact that they know they would lose. You know what I'm Very saying? Like, so. mm -hmm. It's like, don't nobody mess with Wakanda for a reason. Like, it's a no, reason no. nobody messes with them. So it's like, they ain't no different. They are part of the same world. They're part of the same universe. And it's like, the Ten Rings yeah. is fire. The Ten Rings ain't, ain't been to, to Wakanda for a reason. You know, you done conquered and beat up all those other places. But I'm just going to sit out here because for some reason, somebody might have something that can figure out a way to get them Ten Rings up off your arm. Yeah. <laughs> so, she, he definitely didn't go to, to Wakanda with that. Not, uh, no. And so uh, the Dora Milaje said that their hands are rated E for everyone. So <laughs> <laughs> very much so. So the, the next thing that I wanted to talk to y'all about was uh, there was a Disney Plus day that came out. Uh, I think it was Friday. Um, mm -hmm. and, and so they had a, a couple of, of really interesting um, announcements that came along. Uh, Moon Knight, they, they gave a kind of a first look at him. Um, they talked about um, X-Men. They're, they're bringing back the X-Men, the ones that we knew. 
They're revisiting those. Mm -hmm. They have uh, yeah. they have stuff like uh, they have a Baymax video. They they showed a little bit of She Hulk. Um, what else did they do? Was it Miss Marvel? Miss Marvel. The Proud family too. Pro she yeah. Penny Proud kind of grew up a little bit. Yeah, bro. Uh, so the jokes are a little bit more adult this time. I noticed. Mm hmm. So so um. There were a couple things like that. Uh, so, what kind of stuck out um, to you guys from that point? Oh man, I hope y'all mind me going first. Um, Go bruh, I've been ever since they said Moon Knight was gonna get something. I was like, I'm excited because I, I didn't know which direction it was gonna take. I felt like I really feel like Moon Knight got picked up because Moon Knight is like a dark and brooding character. Mm -hmm. And at the time yeah. that Moon, Moon Knight was being tossed around, Daredevil was already being done by Netflix. So I felt like this was their way of getting into the progressively darker characters. Uh, why didn't I talk about this before? It felt like Marvel is delving back into Marvel Knights. Marvel Knights yeah. is when they had outsourced some of their characters, uh, Blade, uh, Moon Knight, Daredevil, and Punisher in particular. Uh, and they were rated R comics. Mm -hmm. And so what I started to do when I found out about Moon Knight, like back in like 2013, -ish, I went back and started reading some of his stuff. And uh, I even, I, I got a box now that comes in with the most recent run. And he's a mentally ill man who died. He was a spec ops in the Marines. His name is Mark Spector. And he was resurrected by the the god uh, Konshu, which is the Egyptian god of uh, justice. And he has multiple personalities. Like he blacks in and out and fucks niggas up. And his superpower, he, he's super agile. And because he doesn't know what his brain's going to do, it's hard to counter his movements. Um, to put it in perspective, Taskmaster absolutely refuses to fight this nigga because he doesn't know what he's going to do. <laughs> hey, hey so, yeah, that's a dangerous I'm man. And see, I'm, I'm just to jump in as far as uh, personally, I'm probably a little bit, I'm probably more excited for Miss Marvel. I, I, I like Miss Marvel, uh, but I'm excited for Moon Knight as well for this, just kind of what you were just saying. Like, I don't know a whole lot about Moon Knight, but the stuff I do know about Moon, Moon Knight is you don't want to fuck with this man. Like, like I've seen, like you were just saying, like he, you just mentioned, Taskmaster is, Taskmaster's, if anybody who doesn't know, that Taskmaster's power or whatever, like he has the power to mimic anybody he sees in fighting or whatever. He picks up your moves or whatever. So that should let you know that if this man don't want no beef with Moon Knight, that should let you know how dangerous that man is. Just alone off that, but uh, I'm really excited for Miss Marvel. Uh, I, I like because Miss Marvel is, and I know that I'm, I'm not. I'm not sure how they're gonna do Miss Marvel because of the simple fact Miss Marvel is not a mutant. Miss mm. Marvel is an inhuman. Yep. And so that's why I, I want to know how they're gonna kind of explain her powers, and I want to see how they're gonna do her powers in, in the um, in her show because she's kind of got like. You almost say like like say almost like Mr. Uh, like Mr. Fantastic, but she's a little bit more. She does a little bit more with her. Like she enlarges herself to get big, and she and enlarges big. certain parts of her body, body, and stuff like that. So I'm I'm really interested to see how they're gonna do, how they're gonna um, you know, explain her powers and where they came from, and where um, and how she you know and how they're gonna show up as far as on the show and everything. But uh, I'm definitely excited for those. Steven, you got anything on this one? I have not seen the previews for these yet, and I'm not oh, familiar man. with those characters. So now I'm excited. Now, interestingly enough, when you were talking about Moon Knight, the first person that came to my mind was Taskmaster, but I had the two mixed up. Because I was like, is that the dude who copies other people's powers? Mm -hmm. Then when you said Taskmaster won't fight him, I'm like, oh, that's the dude that copies other people's <laughs> powers. I'm like, wait, yeah. he won't fight him? Oh, wow. I need to learn more about this Moon Knight fellow. So, what about the uh, Proud family, though? Because you had said that. 
Oh yeah, the Proud Family one now. Um, I watch and Baymax. I'm so excited. Baymax. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll start with the Proud Family one. My kids um have been getting into the Proud Family lately. Like you know, they started cool. watching it, and I start. So I'm like seeing them, re, you know, re-release that. I'm like, okay, that's that's what's up. Now I'm gonna have to kind of vet it first because mm-hmm. um, I did notice myself. I was like, hold on now. These seem like teenage jokes. I try to, mm-hmm. I try to watch the content that the Howard children. <laughs> um, I might be watching Proud Family till they get a little bit older. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, with Baymax, I'm really, I'm like, okay, so is he gonna be out? I guess I'm kind of confused on that, but I'm excited for it still. I'm looking at it like, it looks like, are is everybody in the world gonna have their own Baymax? Or is he just out freelancing, doing different things? In the it's trailer, like, look, oh. yeah, it kind of looks like uh, he's. It's just one Baymax, but he's going out and helping the people oh, in San people. Fran, Tokyo. Is that what the name of the, the city was? <laughs> it was <laughs> called San yeah. Francisco. It was something like that. It was New Fran. It was something with San Francisco and Tokyo, or something like that, that they mixed up. Oh. Uh, okay. So well, it looks like it's going to be very entertaining and funny, mm-hmm. and that's kind of all I look for. Um, after you know, Big Hero Six, that was this whole thing. It was it was a bit just yeah. entertaining, you know, showing things like that. So, um, yeah. So yeah, the, yeah, that was one thing. I, I love Big Hero Six, but I think mm-hmm. the thing that happened was like Big Hero Six, and then that's when like Marvel started kicking off, and they started having mm-hmm. like Marvel movies. So they were like, yeah, forget the little boy. Because you know mm-hmm. they, didn't, they didn't need to make it anymore. They didn't need to make any more. So then that's when they they just went to to Marvel movies for that part. And so now they're kind of trying to wrap it back around and bring some bring the kids in yeah. a little bit more and, and touch on. I mean they might just just have you know needed some time to kind of figure out what direction to take it because you know mm-hmm. you, don't, you don't know where where you want the story to go. I think for for what it is that's a really interesting concept you know freelance freelance baymax is great that coffee (laughs) that coffee scene i was weak i was hollering Mm -hmm. man that was that had me dying laughing because i'm like yes for real um random thing my name is in just about every movie the guy who's coffee his name was steve too like (laughs) (laughs) he was was defeated by the time he got that mug (laughs) man (laughs) He was like, it's, it's just, it's me. It's, just, I, it's don't me. worry about it. Don't worry about it. So, no, I'm super excited about X Men. Like, um, any anybody. So, like, I, I did a little research. Like, the thing that that happened with X Men was before, like, they had really good storylines, but they didn't have really good management when it came to getting the stories together and, and things like that because, um. I believe uh, X-Men was like animated overseas. I believe mm-hmm. it was. And so then the thing that happened would be like they would miss deadlines. So then after that, you'd have a really good storyline that's supposed to go maybe, you know, two or three months. But then they have to be, do fillers because of the fact that nobody could be able, you know, they weren't they were missing deadlines. So then and then after that, they went with a new production company, which their production company then that's when the, that's when x-men started to fall off after that first or second season is because they went with a different production company and so it didn't have the same quality it didn't have that same x-men feel to it from from what we were seeing beforehand so i'm really excited that they have people that are, are really looking forward to to kind of putting together a quality product for us yeah bro i agree with you 100 percent. but i have one stipulation okay Bring it back, but keep that same drama that they had way back in 1997, oh. bro. It was up there with like Melrose Place and 902, uh, 90210, bro. Oh, it man. was, you came for the action, you know what I'm saying? But you stayed for that drama, bro. Like the love triangles and stuff. Oh my God. Oh, oh man. Uh, Gene and Cyclops and Wolverine. Yeah. yeah, and Rogue and Gambit. And oh, Rogue. yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it, that it was. was mm-hmm. that, that mm. was that was it, man. Because like every time they they had that, it was like, oh, okay. Because like you really thought that Gene was gonna leave, because like, because Wolverine was like, hey, listen, I'm I'm here for you. He was direct. He knew what he wanted. 
that he he yeah. wanted her. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, I hope they do. Like I hope they like I hope they do that. It's still kind of like um, you know, like they they recently came out and said uh, that Batman the animated series they were gonna do a re you know reshooting of that and they're gonna do they're gonna do a continuation from that point. But they need to still have that same. I don't want I don't want Batman and Robin the the legendary journeys, not the one on WB. I want the oh, one. That. I want I want the one that came on Fox Kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I, as long as they if they pick up where they left off, or just kind of somewhere around that around that time frame, it, it'll it'll mm-hmm. definitely. Uh, I think it'll definitely um, um, be good. Yeah, let's do. Has let me. Ask, I know it's it's fairly new. Has anyone else or has anyone seen the Eternal shit? I haven't yet. And uh, yeah, man. I haven't okay. seen that one. I'm, I'm I'm gonna go to it, uh, but it, it wasn't on my top my top list. I was like, I need to go see my hero before it, it leaves because usually they only get it in there for like two weeks and then they drop it off. Agree, agree. That's why I like that. Me and my mom, I I went Friday to go see it, man, and it was it was amazing. I, I really enjoyed it. I hope so, um, because I, I really like the story of the Eternals. Um, I wasn't worried when, um, you know, when it first came out, it had all that drama about getting the 60% and people hating it and all that stuff. And I'm just like, yeah. I, I know this ain't for everybody. But then when it was crazy, when that's why I don't listen to critics, bro. When the crowd started to go see it, it's like the people were like 80% for it. Mm-hmm. So it's like, yeah. what are y'all doing, y'all? And, and I'm going to be honest with you, word is, the reason people weren't feeling it is because there was a homosexual relationship that happens on screen. Mm-hmm. It, 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 it's, bro, it's not. It's not even. It's not even major. I believe like, you. It's, I believe it's you. not major. I um, believe you, bro. It was. Um, like I said, I went and saw it, and it was. It's not, like I said, I'm with you. I saw a lot of people. A lot of people giving it mixed views, and I was like, I, it's, "This movie is not for the casual MCU fans." I put it like that. Okay. And you have to, you kind of have to know a little bit about. I would say at least a little bit about the Eternals and kind of what they or how they became to be, and it, it, they kind of get into it a little bit in the movie. But you got to have some, some just a little, a little knowledge. Like you said, this this has this not your cat. This is not for your casual MCU fan. This is more so. Hey, you comic book, you comic book fan that's been reading, and you know this this is something for you. Good. This is something for you because it, it's safe. And if you when you do go see it, make sure you stay for both post credit scenes. Bet. I'm gonna say this. So it's not that I don't want inclusion in people to enjoy Marvel movies, but I feel like a lot of times in the Marvel movies they've been baby feeding like like the mm-hmm. the people. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it, it should be something where if you don't know right now what's going on, then you need to go back and watch it. And I, I think that sometimes that 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 bothers me. Like, I understand, you know, not everybody's gonna have the chance to do it. And, but if you have, you make time for what you want. So, so yeah. therefore, if you wanted to be able to understand it before, you know, you know, it, it just it just seems like a lot of times that that they're they're just looking for somebody to force you know baby feed them what happens and what's going on and sometimes yeah. it's, it's not it's not meant for everybody and, and that's that's okay you know what I mean but I think a lot of times uh, Marvel has had something for everyone in in the movies where they could be able to to enjoy something like that and uh, sometimes it, it like there's just movies like. Luke Cage was was not necessarily meant for everybody, but that's why they also had. That's why they also had, uh, you know, Daredevil, and mm. I don't know, I don't know who Iron Fist was for. So uh, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not <laughs> even gonna go there. But uh, <laughs> but you know, it, it's it's just something where you know that bothers me sometimes because like not everything is meant for everybody. That's true. And I think that's perfectly that fine. I, I think we're getting into that age of Marvel where people are, I think, Mar- not Marvel. I think Disney sees that, hey, we have these movies that, 
you know, that are catered to a culture, but anybody can see them. And I think Marvel is slowly but surely doing that too now. You know, uh, Black Panther, you know, had us, Shang-Chi had me vibing, was like, yo, I could go with some Oriental, you know, clothing like that too, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I look forward to see, like uh, Marcus said, Ms. Marvel, you know, Ms. Marvel, you know what I'm saying, is Middle Eastern, uh -huh. you know, and they're, they're, they're Muslim, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So I look forward to seeing how that plays. Uh, I'm reading a comic book on her now, cause I can't help myself. I love reading comic books on characters. We got shows coming out. I'm reading a comic yeah. book where that's part of the reason why she can't identify with being a teenager here in America, because, you know, being rebellious and stuff is like the American thing when you're a teenager here. No but in a culture, it's like punishable by death type shit. You know what I'm Stone, saying? So stoning shit. Yeah. You right. Know you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's, it's really dope. And another thing is that I really enjoy about Miss Marvel is that she idolizes Captain Marvel, who is formerly Miss Marvel. Mm -hmm. And um, and not to give away too much, because this is in the comic book. Um, I want to add on to some of her powers. She's an inhuman something she did but i haven't seen her do since she can actually because she can you know enhance and, and make large him. and make small she can morph her body she can actually do like uh morph from x-men the, the animated series yeah. she actually yeah. morphs into miss marvel in some scenes in the comic book which was dope as hell so I i'm excited to see what they pull off with that tv show bro just to see another culture it, it like interests me Mm -hmm. so um going forward um we're gonna have more variety of what we're gonna do here on the 20 or not the 2020 podcast uh, i'm over I, uh, but here at the not birds, wrong. yeah you know we're gonna do some more stuff too so um we're gonna have uh more you know my son wants to get involved so he's gonna do some more unboxings um oh, we're going to start doing more comic book reviews. Sir's review is going to have some. Um, we're going to have some other ones. Ooh, yes, the antagonist. You got part one oh, yes. and do you have two yet? I got one, two, and three. Ooh. That's what's up. I got to get two and three. I think I got to get two and three. I got one, though. Mm -hmm. So I'm also I'm going to have a couple reviews because I, I picked up a, uh, a comic book called NOLA where it takes a place of a woman whose name is nola who's in new orleans and it's like a kind of like a almost like a john wick kind of feel to it uh so okay. so i'm okay. doing that we're going to do more movie reviews we're also going to start the blurred club sessions which are going to be our conversations about wrestling and and different things like that because there's a lot of us here in the bs that um that like wrestling they, they talk about it that uh that really get down with this so we're gonna have those um and we're gonna have um well it's, might as well go ahead and say it we're gonna also have a website with merchandise from Ooh, blur clubs no. we're gonna have we're gonna have the blur syndicate shirts we're gonna have shirts that are for nerds we're gonna have shirts for blurs we're gonna have shirts for everybody and we're also gonna have cups, t-shirts, wristbands, all of this. So uh, at the end of this year, early next year, uh, look out for that. And uh, we're just gonna have a lot of good things coming up here. So new season, new new things going on with us. Uh, hopefully you still rock with us. Um, and and we'll, we'll even go back to, I know we have another episode that we're gonna go ahead and talk to, cause I need to talk to these gentlemen cause they are the ones that gave me all their horror movie recommendations and um and they were a part of they contributed to my my sleepless nights during that time period so i wanted to say thank you so much for that uh midsummer was not pleasant uh drag me to <laughs> hell was not pleasant uh hereditary was just fucking ridiculous um and and i also would like to say fuck them kids as as a like as a father as a supportive father <laughs> I want to say fucking kids because a lot of times there was points where some kids just need to get judo chopped in the throat. Some kids mm -hmm. just need to go ahead and uh, you just need to find somebody who could actually support whatever bad habits and, you know, stuff that they had going on. But um, you can't save all of them. 
No, nah, I mean, that's that's why God gave you the opportunity to reproduce multiple times. Sometimes it's just, sometimes, you know, you need to have the warranty on them. Some of them, some of them just need to go back. So, uh, so, so I just, uh, I want to say thank y'all for rocking with us. We got a lot of stuff coming up. Um, these gentlemen will have their own time to be able to see, because I want everybody to see these personalities of these ladies and gentlemen that are around here because they are awesome people they had they're funny they're charismatic they 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 i love them all so that's what i want y'all to see why i love them and why they're part of the bs so uh until then you know stay rocking with us and uh be like the hulk and smash that follow button and we're gonna love you 3000 but until then have a great night and uh we'll talk to you later all right peace, peace.